Hey there, music lovers. Today I'm diving deep into one of the most enigmatic and ambitious albums in progressive rock history, Tales from Topographic Oceans by Yes. Buckle up, because this journey is as intricate and profound as the album itself. Released in 1973, Tales from Topographic Oceans is a double album that stretches over four sides of vinyl. Each side is a single track, clocking in at around 20 minutes. And each track is a movement in a symphony of sound and storytelling. The band was determined to push the boundaries of what an album could be. So how did this masterpiece come to life? The idea was sparked by lead vocalist John Anderson who was inspired by a footnote in Paramahansa Yogananda's autobiography of a yogi. Anderson, along with guitarist Steve Howe, envisioned an album that would be a spiritual odyssey, exploring different facets of human experience. The album is divided into four tracks, the revealing science of God, the remembering, the ancient, and ritual. Each track represents a different aspect of Hindu scriptures and philosophical teachings. This wasn't just music, it was a quest for enlightenment, Musically, the album is a tapestry of complex rhythms, interwoven melodies and lush orchestration. Chris Squire's bass lines are nothing short of legendary, providing a backbone that's both intricate and powerful. Rick Wakeman's keyboards add layers of texture, from delicate piano passages to soaring synthesizer solos. And let's not forget Alan White's drumming, which brings an almost tribal energy to the composition. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The recording sessions were intense and not everyone in the band was on the same page. Rick Wakeman, in particular, was skeptical about the project's direction. He famously brought in a curry during the recording sessions, highlighting his disinterest in parts of the album. Yet despite the internal conflicts, the band managed to produce something timeless. Critics were divided when the album first came out. Some hailed it as a groundbreaking work of art, while others found it pretentious and overly ambitious. But over time, Tales from Topographic Oceans has earned its place as a cult classic. Its complexity and depth continue to captivate listeners, inviting them to explore its many layers again and again. So if you haven't given Tales from Topographic Oceans a listen, do yourself a favor. Dive in, let the music wash over you, and embark on a journey through sound and spirit. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more musical explorations. Until next time, keep the music alive.